What up guys, Gabe with Tight Lines here. Today we're going to install a Mighty Mount from Yak Attack on my Bonafide SS127 kayak. So the purpose of adding the Mighty Mount is I need to actually move this Anchor Wizard from that position all the way back here. The problem is when you're paddling, it can get in the way and it's also a little bit cumbersome to try and reach up here and drop the anchor because you've got this cable that runs all the way through the paddle keeper through here and then you have to go through these rod eyes or these eye eyelets all the way back to the anchor chute in the back. So I'm actually gonna French it in to this perch pad right here so that it's a lot closer to the seat and it's easier to drop when you're fishing. So the first thing you have to do is measure exactly where you want to mount your Mighty Mount. For me, I'm putting it right in the center of the perch pad, but before I measured this in, I used my anchor wizard and uh, I actually uh, sat down in the chair, put the chair up and down, and kind of identified about where I wanted to put it. So now I'm just double checking to make sure that the location is going to be exactly center on the perch pad. Now I'm using a metal scribe tool with a pointed tip to make an outline of the Mighty Mount. I'm using the Mighty Mount as a template so I can get a nice clean line. If I were to go in right now with an X-Acto knife and try to just cut around the Mighty Mount, uh, one, I might cut my finger. Number two, uh, I could mess up and end up making a slit somewhere in this perch pad that I don't want and it would just look silly and, and bad. So first thing is outlining this thing, going all the way around the circumference of the Mighty Mount, making a template, and then I'm gonna come back in with my X-Acto tool and finally cut out the perch pad so that I can French in the Mighty Mount. This is what the perch pad looks like now that I've got a scribed mark all the way around where the Mighty Mount was. You can see it's a perfect replica of the same surface as the Mighty Mount. This will look nice once it gets all Frenched in. All I gotta do is cut it out. So I'm going to use a X-Acto knife and this should help uh, clean out the edges and give me a nice clean tight fit because when you're Frenching this in you want it to be as tight and smooth as possible and that's going to give you a really nice look. Alright now that I got it all cut out we're going to have to skive out this perch pad because it's glued with an adhesive down and we need to get this to be a flat surface. This stuff is actually coming out, oh, came out pretty easy. So we got nice clean lines in here. So we'll take our Mighty Mount and we're going to go ahead, oh, get some material in here. Some stuff from the packaging. So let's slide this in. It's going to be a little tight because I undercut it just slightly. I want to make sure it fits in here nice and looks good when I'm done. So we've got it in here. Um, now in the directions for the Mighty Mount, it says to use a drill bit and drill out the holes. And then we're going to use the uh, included screws to fix it to the uh, kayak. So I've got an eighth inch drill bit. We're going to start a pilot hole on this first uh, anchor hole right here and uh, work our way down until we get them all filled up. So safety first. And we'll switch over to a drill or a impact. And it in included with these Stainless steel number 10 screws. So we'll start with our first one here. Once it's tight, I'm going to stop. I don't want to torque down because it's only plastic. So next we will go to our next pilot hole here. Put our next screw in. And you're probably wondering why did I go here? Well, I want to keep it uh, so that it's not moving and creeping down here with every drill hole. So I'm going to put one here and then I can drill out all the rest of the holes and put on all the screws at one time. All 
All right, we've got the uh, Mighty Mount installed, and this baby is going nowhere. I tell you what, those screws are going to hold in this thing very, very well. So what we're going to do is slide my Anchor Wizard right inside here, crank it down, and then give it a test and see how it fits. Well, that's what it looks like when it's installed. It's nice and flush. That's the reason why I Frenched this in uh, to the, the foam pad here. It just makes it look a little bit cleaner. But the nice thing is, when you're sitting down in the kayak, you don't have to reach way up front or way in the back. You can reach right here next to your seat so that you can crank it and, un uh, and loosen it and drop the anchor a lot easier than before. Well, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe down below. I left the information for both the Anchor Wizard and the Mighty Mount in the description. Feel free to leave comments. And if you're going out fishing, as always, best of luck and tight lines.